Consider the following exponential equation. 3 raised to the x plus 2 is equal to 9 raised to the 2x minus 3. How can we find the value of x without using logs? What you need to do is change base 9 into base 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. So we can replace 9 with 3 squared. And whenever you raise one exponent to another exponent, you need to multiply. So we got to multiply 2 by 2x minus 3. So on the right side, this is going to be 3 raised to the 4x minus 6. Now, if the bases are the same, then the exponents must be equal to each other. Therefore, x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 6. Now, let's subtract both sides by x, and let's add 6 to both sides. So these two will cancel. 2 plus 6 is 8. 4x minus x is 3x. So we can see that x is equal to 8 over 3. And so that's the answer for this one. Now let's work on another example. 8 raised to the 4x minus 12 is equal to 16 raised to the 5x minus 3. So go ahead and find the value of x. Now what we need to do is convert 8 and 16 into a common base. 2 is a multiple of 8 and 16, so 2 is the common base. 2 to the third power is 8. 2 to the fourth power is 16. So let's replace 8 with 2 to the third power. And let's replace 16 with 2 to the fourth power. Now we need to multiply 4x minus 12 by 3. 4x times 3 is 12x. 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. Now we need to multiply 5x minus 3 by 4. So that's going to give us 20x minus 12. So we can set these two equal to each other now that we have the same base. So 12x minus 36 is equal to 20x minus 12. Let's subtract both sides by 12x. Let's add 12 to both sides. So negative 24 is equal to 8x. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. Let's try one more example. 27 raised to the 3x minus 2. Let's say that's uh, equal to 81 raised to the 2x plus 7. So try this problem. Now, 3 to the third power is equal to 27, and 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81. So let's replace 27 with 3 cubed. And let's replace 81 with 3 to the fourth power. 3 times 3x minus 2, that's going to be 9x minus 6. And 4 times 2x plus 7, that's 8x plus 28. So now that we have the same base, we can set the exponents equal to each other. So 9x minus 6 is equal to 8x plus 28. So let's subtract both sides by 8x. And let's add 6 to both sides. So these will cancel. 9x minus 8x is x. 28 plus 6 is 34. So x is equal to 34 in this example. 3 raised to the x is equal to 8. What is the value of x? In order to find it, we can take the log or the natural log of both sides. It really doesn't matter which one you're going to use. Let's take the log of both sides. Once you do that, you can move the exponent to the front. So x log 3 is equal to log 8. So x is log 8 divided by log 3. 
if you type this in, you should get 1.8928. And you can check your answer. What is 3 raised to the 1.8928? If you type that in, the calculator will give you this answer, 8.00009. Granted, this is rounded, so this is going to be very close to 8. What about this one? If e raised to the x is equal to 7, what is the value of x? Now, whenever you're dealing with base e, it's better to use the natural log as opposed to the regular log. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And we're going to move x to the front. So x, ln e, is equal to ln 7. And ln e is 1, so x times 1 is x. So the answer is ln 7. This is the exact answer. And then you could type it in if you want the decimal answer. So the decimal answer is 1.9459. So that's the approximation. Now let's work on this example. 5 plus 4 raised to the x minus 2 is equal to 23. Let's find the value of x. So let's begin by subtracting both sides by 5. We can't take the log of both sides yet. It wouldn't be wise. 23 minus 5 is 18. Now at this point, we can't really convert 18 into a base 2. 2 to the 4th is 16. 2 to the 5th is 32. So we can't really change 18 to a base 2, so we have to take the log of both sides. You can also use the natural log too. It will work as well. Now we can move the exponent to the front. And so it's x minus 2 in parentheses times log 4, and that's equal to log 18. I wouldn't recommend distributing log 4 to x minus 2. Instead, it's better to divide both sides by log 4. So x minus 2 is equal to log 18. Well, let's get the exact answer first. So this is equal to log 18 over log 4. The exact answer is this. x is equal to 2 plus log 18 over log 4. Log 18 divided by log 4, that's about 2.08496. And if we add 2 to it, we can see that x is equal to 4.08496. So that's the answer. Let's try this problem. 3 plus 2 e raised to the 3 minus x. Let's say it's equal to 7. Go ahead and find the value of x. So before we take the natural log of both sides, let's subtract both sides by 3. So 2 e to the 3 minus x is equal to 4. Next, let's divide both sides by 2. So e to the 3 minus x is equal to 2. And now we could take the natural log of both sides. Now let's move the exponent to the front. So 3 minus x times ln e is equal to ln 2. And ln e is 1, so this is just going to be 3 minus x. Now, what I'm going to do is take the negative x and move it to this side. It's negative x on the left side, but it's going to be positive x on the right side. Now, I'm going to take ln2, move it to this side, which is going to change from positive to negative. So x is 3 minus ln2. That's the exact answer. The decimal value... is 2.3069.
how would you solve this equation? 3 raised to the x squared plus 4. Let's say that's equal to 1 over 27. What would you do in order to find the value of x? In this case, we know that 3 to the third is equal to 27. So 3 to the negative 3 is 1 over 27. We need to make the bases the same. So this is 3 to the negative 3. Because the bases are the same, we can now make the exponents equal to each other, which means that x squared plus 4x is equal to negative 3. Now let's move the negative 3 to the left side, in which case it's going to be positive 3, and we could factor. Two numbers that multiply to 3 but add to 4 are 3 and 1. So this is x plus 3 and x plus 1. So therefore, x can be equal to negative 3, and x is equal to negative 1. Here's another example. 2 raised to the x squared times 2 raised to the 3x is equal to 16. Find the value of x. 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, so let's replace 16 with that. Now, let's say if you're multiplying by a common base. You can add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. In this case, 2 is the common base. So we can add x squared and 3x. So this is 2x squared plus 3x. So now we can set x squared plus 3x equal to 4. Now let's subtract both sides by 4. So x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. And let's factor. Two numbers that multiply to negative 4 but add to positive 3 are positive 4 and negative 1. So it's x plus 4 times x minus 1, which means that x is equal to negative 4 and it's equal to positive 1. Try this. 4 raised to the 2x minus 20 multiplied by 4 raised to the x plus 64 is equal to 0. So what can we do in order to find the value of x? What I think we should do is factor, but factor by substitution. This equation can be reduced to a quadratic equation. We're going to set a equal to 4 raised to the x, which means that a squared is 4 to the 2x. So let's replace 4 to the 2x with a squared, and let's replace 4 to the x with a. What two numbers multiply to 64 but add to negative 20? This is negative 16 and negative 4. So to factor it, it's a minus 16 and a minus 4. So therefore, a is equal to 16, and a is equal to 4. And we know that a is 4 to the x. So therefore, 4 raised to the x is equal to 16, and 4 to the x is equal to 4. 4 is basically 4 to the first power. So we can clearly see that x is equal to 1. Now, 16 is equivalent to 4 squared. So 4 to the x is equal to 4 squared, which means that x is equal to 2. And so those are the two answers. Let's try one more example. 3 to the 2x minus 3 to the 2x minus 1. Let's say it's equal to 18. Go ahead and find the value of x. So we can't really factor in this example because 2x is not twice the value of 2x minus 1. But we could factor the GCF. We could take out 3 to the 2x. 3 to the 2x divided by itself is equal to 1. Now, 3 to the 2x minus 1 divided by 3 to the 2x. If we uh, write it out, notice what we'll get. Let's ignore the negative sign for now. We know the overall answer is going to be negative. When you divide by a common base, you need to subtract the exponents. 2x minus 1 minus 2x. The 2x will cancel, and so it's going to be 3 to the negative 1. 
And so that's what we have right now. And if you distribute, you can see that you're going to get the original equation. 3 to the 2x times 1 gives you this term. And 3 to the 2x times 3 to the negative 1, you add the exponents. 2x plus negative 1 is 2x minus 1. Now, let's divide both sides by this. Three to the negative one is basically one third. So we have a complex fraction. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by three. So 18 times three is 54. Three times one is three. Three times a third is one. And three minus one is two. 54 over two is 27. So three to the two X is equal to 27. And 27 is 3 to the third power. So 2x is equal to 3, which means that x is 3 over 2. And so that's the answer.